Hello and welcome back to another exciting segment of TUTV Entertainment. I'm Hannah Horton. And I'm William Bennett. Let's get to this week's news. Looking for a quick bite to eat? Research shows that Burger King may be your best bet for fast food. A study by the QSR magazine found that the restaurant chain is the fastest drive through in America for 2018, clocking in at 3 minutes and 13 seconds. The test recorded the time from when the order was placed to the moment the food was received. Other establishments in the survey includes Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, and McDonald's. However, Chick-fil-A and McDonald's get the most customers out of those surveyed, which accounts for the extra time. Overall, the average wait time for all drive through experiences rose by 9 seconds, continuing the trend of increasing volumes of customers. The publication theorizes this rise is due to customers' willingness to wait longer for higher quality food. Stephen Hawking has sparked controversy by predicting that a new race of superhumans could develop from wealthy people, editing the DNA of their families. In his essay, A Brief History of Time, the late physicist wrote that he believes, quote, during this century, people will discover how to modify both intelligence and instincts, such as aggression, end quote. He went on to suggest that genetic breakthroughs will enable people to improve their memory, disease, resistance, and intelligence, as long as they can afford it. This will pose problems for those who can't afford genetic alteration. Eventually, Hawking wrote, quote, there will be a race of self-designing beings who are improving at an ever-increasing rate, end quote. There are currently very few laws that regulate genetic engineering with humans. Coors, heir to Coors Brewing Company, has died at the age of 102. Coors has been credited for transforming his family's local product into a national brand. He took control of the enterprise in 1960 when his older brother passed away. Coors then turned the Colorado-based company into a nationwide competitor. According to the Coors website, he was imperative to the success of the company. During his time there, Coors developed filtration systems, added Coors Light, and pioneered the use of recyclable aluminum cans. During his, an interview for his 1996 induction into the Colorado Business Hall of Fame, Coors said survival was his key motivator. While he retired in 20, 2003 at the age of 86, he continued to influence the family business as chief te technical advisor. Google Pixel Buds were announced by the search engine's parent company last October, and one of the defining features of the gadget was the instant translation feature. Now, real-time language translation is rolling out to all headphones that offer Google Assistant integration. This incredible technology has been made accessible to third-party hardware as the actual translating runs through Google Translate on the connected smartphone. While the process isn't perfect, the Pixel Buds make translation less awkward and more rewarding. Specific details have yet to be announced as to how the feature will work on third-party headphones, but as far as Google is concerned, it's open to all. Currently, the real-time translation feature supports 40 languages and counting. Actor C. Thomas Howell will be returning to Tulsa in November to give tours and live commentary about the Outsiders' filming locations. Howell played Ponyboy Curtis in Francis Ford Coppola's film in 1982, which was adapted from Tulsa author's S. E. Hinton's novel. The 51-year-old will, will act as a guide on shuttle tours. They will incorporate multiple tour stops, including a visit to the Outsiders House Museum. Hal is ecstatic about his return and says that it is, quote, 1,000% coming from a place of love and passion and fun, end quote. The tours are scheduled for November 2nd through the 4th and will last between 90 minutes and two hours. Multiple tours have sold out, but opportunities still remain to secure a seat. For more information on how to purchase a ticket, visit the Tulsa Pop Culture Expo website. Speaking of events going on around the city, Tulsa's Oktoberfest returns this week. The annual festival is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year and kicks off on Thursday to run for four days. Hundreds of volunteers have been preparing the event as it takes months to put together the decorations and make sure everything runs smoothly. Oktoberfest celebrates the integration of Bavarian traditions, food, and culture to Tulsa. The festival will include beer tastings and live performances by German bands, as well as carnival rides for all ages. Oktoberfest is hosted at River West Festival Park, and admission is free on Friday until 4 p.m. Well, Oktoberfest seems like it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. I read that Oktoberfest here in Tulsa is one of the top, uh, like, best Oktoberfests in the nation, and also that it's one of the top five largest. Yeah, so, the German band yeah. sounds really cool. Yeah. What also sounds really cool is Stephen Hawking's predictions for superhumans. Wow, that is 
really a little scary, but interesting. I don't know. I guess we'll see. How yeah, that the turns article out. was <laughs> kind of weird, but it was. I, I liked it. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time on TUTV News. I'm Hannah Horton. And I'm William Bennett.